about maybe 2.30 in, then it, it went into this real, that there was little hints of progressive. Progressive sound, progressive right. sound mixed in. But right. then it, for like maybe 15, 20 sec- seconds, it went into a real progressive, you know, sound. Like, you know, if, if I was listening to Yes or something, or just, you know, it just had that moment. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and that guy over there is Chris. Chris, say hey to everyone. Hey. So, Chris, tell everyone what we have for them today. Okay, you are going to react to the band's The band's name is Bill Nelson's Red Noise, and the song is A Better Home in the Phantom Zone. And this is a Kofi request from Mike Poole. And, you know, we've done this, some of his requests before. Hey, Mike. Cool. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Yep. Shot. He's probably yeah, going to throw like, us a curveball or so. Well, there's no chance that I would know this song. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, let me go check it out. All Come right. on back uh, into, the, into the music zone, from the phantom zone, back into this one. Just go do it. Man. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Don't rush me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that change up. I like that change up right there. that back i think one more time and then i'll let it ride out but um it's i'm trying to put my finger on this i guess you know i'm breaking my own rules right don't put labels on music but i mean it seems to be changing um a lot within just this one song Uh, i had like that new wave type of um punk punkish feel post-punk um but then just that last part that I'm going back to, that was like progressive. 
definitely progressive sound. But then it goes right back, right before I switched, before I pulled it, um, going back to that new wave sound. Um, yeah, this is 1979. Wow. Okay. Right here. Right. That is definitely progressive. Back from listening, yeah. I'm listening to uh, yeah, done listening to that. Um, yeah, you know, I I I didn't know what to make of that song. You know, it had all these changes, change ups, yeah. change up galore. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know, on the uh, on the actual video, it had 1979. So, um, but it really had almost like an 80s kind of uh, new wave ish sound. You know, new wave. Um, I guess you could say New Wave was back in 1979 too, but you know, as I yeah. grew through the 80s, grew up, you know, into young young manhood, um, and it was going to all the clubs well, and stuff the, like that. It was New Wave. Well, and, it came trickling in from the late 70s studio. So it came trickling in, um, and then just when I was ready to kind of stamp it like this is what it is, right? Then, then it had, well, it had a few switch ups here and there. There was actually this, there was this one part that would, where all of a sudden it was kind of like. Like where all of a sudden he almost goes like to the singing, like real singing. That was kind of really interesting, you know. Every time that happened, you know, I liked that. I really did. Um, and then like about maybe two thirty in, then it it went into this real that there was little hints of progressive, progressive sound, progressive sound mixed in. But then for like maybe fifteen twenty seconds, it went into a real progressive. You know, sound like, you know, if, if I was listening to Yes or something or just, you know, just had that moment, you know, I was like, whoa, this is really interesting. You know, and then it went back to that sort of new wave thing again. Um, and the vocals um, kind of had a mix vocals and the sound all together. I wrote down Buzzcocks, Devo and Talking Heads as though they were all sort of all colliding at the same Talk moment. The whole and then yeah. they just came out like, you know, then it's like Devo, Talking Heads and and Buzzcocks. Okay. That's what Pete Shelley. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So it 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 was it was good. It was fun. You know, I, I don't it's not my cup of tea, really, for some, mm-hmm. you know, I don't see myself putting on. Even if you listen to it again and discovered like it's, it's, it's one of those songs that you could probably probably could discover new things. A lot of new things. You know, that's a really that's interesting good. point. Um, I usually do give every song that we've 
reacted to. I mean, really going back, um, you know, the ones that, you know, I've done, I don't know about you, but I definitely go back a second time. Um, well, you know what happens too, just be honest, right? You know, so I'm the one who edits the film. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually forced to listen to songs a second time. <laughs> yeah. If you don't you know? like you like, Oh man, I got to listen now, to it. Right. And so there might be, you know, cause sometimes I'm not editing right away. So there might be that chance that I'm actually listening to it again before that edit. So, you know, by the time it's all said and done, we're packaging, we're sending it out to everyone out there. You know, I might've listened to a song like three, four times. Um, you know, be interesting with that. That's interesting because that progressive sound, you know? Yeah. And so I think if I listen to it again, I guess I'm, I might be picking out some more progressiveness, you know, because Mike actually dropped that in his comments when he requested it. He did say, oh, okay. he did say, yeah, you know, uh, you know, there would be some uh, progressive. Yeah. But even that said, you know, even, you know, even if you did discover little things here and there that you appreciated, oh, yeah. overall, you still have an impression of the song, which you, you're just not that crazy about. It's a little too quirky for you. Sounds like you liked it a lot. Yeah, I liked it. I did like its quirkiness. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I, like, yeah, I like the change ups. Uh, there was so many unexpected things in it. Yeah. Um, I'd have to listen to it some more to see if I, you know, if it was just that novelty uh, that really that I was into, but I don't know. I think, I do think it's a good song. That's cool. But I could see, I could also see how somebody would not be crazy about it too. Did you pick out where um, he sang about the Beatles and Leo Sayer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> In fact, um, I was reading the lyrics and I guess I thought it was about, it, I can't find anything on what it's about. Um, but I gathered that it was about, uh, well, maybe I should be asking you first. Why should you be asking me? What do you do? You have any idea what it might be about, other than Leo Sayer? Oh no, no, because yeah, you're the one who should have the homework. That's why I was like, "Whoa, wait a minute, who <laughs> reacted?" You know, this um, is the time, the second video we've mentioned Leo Sayer in. Who yeah. thought? Right? Yeah, um, that was a long time ago, though. That was that a while ago. Long ago. That I was can... the Aurora's. That was Aurora doing the Leonard Cohen song. Yeah, it was quite a while ago. I yeah, guess. but we didn't mention Leo, Leo Sayer. We didn't mention Leo Sayer in, in Aurora song, right? What well, do you remember that? Yeah, because she covered the Leonard Cohen song, and there was a court little court spat between for part of the song and Leo Sayer's song. Anyway, wow. Okay, right. But I think we mentioned him another time too. Anyway, um, let's not overdo it. We mentioned. Leo I Leo did Sayer. not mention anything in here about. Yeah, I have no idea what he was saying. Nope. Nope. I just I heard Beatles and Leo about, Sayer. I thought it was. Um, you know, making fun of suburban life, the suburban suburban lifestyle. But then as I got further into the lyrics, I was like, I'm not so sure exactly now what it's about. Were you thinking that because of the title or some things that you heard or you uh -huh. saw the lyrics? Because that title would sort of make me think, okay, better home in the phantom zone. Right. But yeah. Right. Uh, because of that in the beginning, in the first being cynical you know, about first half, two thirds of the lyrics. Yeah. About, you know. But the, you know, the lyrics were quirky too. So um, the whole song's quirky. So they, they stayed with their theme of quirkiness. I think that's what he tried to do, right? You know, just not really mean to make it a lot of sense, you know, just kind of, you know, goes with the music. Oh, you know? I, yeah, I have music, no idea. Just to, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that actually makes sense, you know, kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so, uh, but, you, you know, like this is like one of those songs where, you know, I don't dislike it. It because I get almost you know mm -hmm. you you know me right um you know if you look at the reaction I'm moving I'm bopping and stuff like that so definitely it was entertaining it was fun you mm -hmm. know so uh, yeah all right cool, cool. Um, yeah so do you want to take us out and say goodbye yeah. to everyone um again thank you Mike Pool for this uh, this request and um, hit all the good buttons below please and we will catch you next time on into the music. See ya.